Hi, let's take a look at question 27 in topic set 4. We are given a reaction that's already balanced, and we were told that this is a reaction that's used to determine blood alcohol content, and alcohol is uh, this formula right here, C2H5OH, and this is a reaction that we would run if we have a sample of blood, and we're trying to figure out how much alcohol that blood contains. So there is uh, three different reactants, and in the end we produce some uh, products, and one of the products, in this case the chromium ion, is measured and that has a mass of 3.8 milligrams. And the question is, first, what's the volume of alcohol that you have in the blood sample if you're given the density? Now anytime you're given density and you're trying to find volume, you immediately remember that density relationship, m over v. So volume is just m over density. Okay, so that's how we're going to find out the volume. But of course what we need is the mass of the alcohol. And alcohol is our reactant but we also know the product in this case given in mass so that means we can do stoichiometry to figure out the mass of the alcohol okay so let's do that we can try figuring out the mass of the alcohol and to do that we're going to start with the mass of the chromium ion which is one of the product but since we're given mass in milligrams we can convert it to grams first and then we can use the molar mass to convert this to number of moles and chromium is just 52 grams per mole. So you might wonder, you know, where you should look for this number. Well, you just look up the number for chromium atom, because remember that what you lose here from going from the atom form to the ion form is just some electrons, and electrons don't really add that much mass, so we can use the same molar mass of the atom as the molar mass of the ion. So now that I have the number of moles of chromium, I can use my stoichiometry between chromium and alcohol or ethanol, which is C2H5OH, for that conversion, and that's 1 to 4. Four, and then I need the molar mass, which is 46 grams per mole. And that would give me 8.40385 times 10 to the minus 4 grams of alcohol. Okay, That's the mass. To get the volume, as we said earlier, we're going to need to take the mass over the density. So the mass is this. Density is 0 0.789 grams per milliliter, which ends up giving us 0 0.00106 milliliter, which is a fairly small number we can convert that to the next prefix which is 1.06 microliter okay but either answer would be fine and then the next question we were asked is what's the blood alcohol content if we know that blood alcohol content is expressed as percent volume of volume so what that means is basically volume of alcohol over volume of blood times 100 percent so i know the volume of my alcohol is this volume of blood in the question was two milliliter we'll multiply this by 100%, we get 0.053%, okay? Now, if in certain states, particularly California, for example, uh, you're considered driving under the influence if your blood alcohol content is above 0.08%. So given that this person has a blood alcohol level of 0.053%, then this is not considered a DUI because that is lower than 0.08%, okay?